Hey, I posted a video here earlier about um, Ukraine and Crimea, then I took it down. I just, I didn't want to be alarmist, and I wanted to look into it some more. You know, what I talk about here is economics, I talk about the markets, but geopolitics is also a very important thing to, uh, to keep an eye on, because events, geopolitical events, can have very, very profound market-moving impacts. Uh, but if you've been following at all the situation in eastern Ukraine and uh, with Crimea and Russia, and you don't get, you really don't get the true picture from the mainstream media in the, you know, in the United States or in Europe, that's all propaganda coming from Washington. Uh, that's been now for a long time painting Russia as the aggressor when everybody knows that the United States backed a coup in Ukraine. Uh, installed neo-Nazis over there, and everybody knows, or should know, I don't know if everybody knows, that's, that's probably a wrong statement, but Crimea voted in a referendum to secede from Ukraine, and that referendum was approved, and it was okayed by the Ukrainian government, okay? Um, and so they acted on that. They decided those are they were mostly ethnic Russians in Crimea. Crimea has been a part of Russia for centuries. They went back to Russia. It was peaceful. The United States called that an act of aggression. They launched all these um, financial uh, or I'm sorry economic sanctions. Okay, but I don't want to get into that. What I was what I posted up earlier was that. The situation in eastern Ukraine, which, by the way, is a humanitarian disaster there. There's a holocaust going on there with the Ukrainian military basically attacking and wiping out the citizenry of eastern Ukraine, which is also ethnic Russian. But there was um, an attempt the other day to assassinate the president or the leader of that region. The guy survived. They also got a couple of guys trying to sneak into Crimea and commit some whatever terrorist acts. The Ukrainian president, Poroshenko, who's a puppet of the United States, um, put his military on high alert in that region. So it's very tense. So what, the, what I posted up earlier was that if we were to see some sort of military involvement that would pit, let's say, the Russian military against the U.S. military, <laughs> obviously, that would be a bad thing. It would roil the markets. Now, so, but I didn't want to get alarmist, and actually I took it down because I, I spoke to a friend of mine who is in Moscow, and I asked my friend if, uh, you know, what are they talking about over there? Is it, is it all over the news? Is it a state of high uh, tension and, and concern? And... My friend said, not really, you know. So I just wanted to let you know that uh, I follow this stuff, and it's not like I just follow it uh, for the past few days. I mean, I've been following this for a long time. My blog, Mike Norman Economics, is all about geopolitical stuff, all about it. But just keeping an eye on it and letting you know that I am aware of it. And if you try to find out information on it, just, you know, be prepared to get the uh, the so-called official line from Washington when you're hearing it on the news here. You're not going to get, you know, you're just not going to get the truth. They're going to call it Russian aggression, and but that's all designed uh, to kind of uh, gin up a feeling here in the United States among the electorate and the people that it's okay that we, you know, send missiles to Eastern Europe and and put them all along the border of Russia and send our fleet into the Baltic and all that kind of stuff. So crazy stuff going on. But anyway, good day in the market. As I said, um, you know, nobody really gets it aside from me and you who have been following me. We've been absolutely correct on all this. Uh, the numbers continue to show very, very positive so just wanted to update you on that Ukraine situation and if anything pops up, those of you on my MMT Trader subscriber list, I will be sending out an email. Okay? See ya. Bye-bye.